Oh, well, I'm filming. You want to look at my phone? Yeah, sure. Push the button on and the dishwasher from the back, You think that's significant? It just means that you're a very rational sort of person. Why don't you think this for me today or tomorrow? I'm going to watch her do it again. You're going to follow her. Learn how to use TikTok, Bear. She's like an old Irish lady. She said Barbara with longer hair. <laughs> yeah. You're following her. Isn't that neat? Yes. I thought I'd show it to you. Thanks. You know you'll be in my video, yeah. right? It's okay, I'm doing wrong. Hey, will you do me a favor? I have a big yeah. Please go get my my markers, my brand new markers. I can't hear you. What? My brand new markers, if you don't mind. What about them? They're on my uh, desk. Okay. You want them to stay there or something? <laughs> I want you to get them. Oh, I get them. You see how comfortable I am over here? You see this? What? You see how comfortable I am? Yes. Well, I'm still gonna go up and down. Thank you, my love. You make me sandwiches all the time. <laughs> You okay, Bear. I'm sorry. I'm going, honey. I'm running right now. Can you see me running? I see you. <laughs> oh, I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doing your orifice? Yeah. There are big box of markers. No, I want all of them. Thank you. Bear! <laughs> Such a pain. I have to have fun in my life, honey. But you didn't say. It's like in my show, okay? That's all you needed? Oh, shit. Roger Bannister, anyway. I'm not 
Some more coffee? No, no, no. There's no need for that. I know. Let's take trivial pursuits. It's one o'clock. Who is it? Everybody turn up? Oh, all right then. I'm off then. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Hey, you should make sure your phone's plugged in, honey. Why? So you can have a charge when you leave later on. It is. It's at 100%, baby. Oh, it is? Good. Good mm -hmm. for you. Well, we did, but that was 38 years ago. No, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you're starting to lie for the sake of it, or what? No, of course not. And why the latest? Oh, jeez. Not again. Yes. Companions, yes. Is it a nasty blood? 
Good God, so it is. Which rooms not to go into now, anyway? Well. One small step for man. Hear my song for your letter. Joseph Locke sang at the Empire with a military tour. He probably sang something military before it. Probably. We're on the wrong side. <laughs> what? I sit on that side, you sit on this side. Does it matter now? I move suddenly in the night. Yes. It'll be cramp. Oh. I sometimes get cramp in bed. Well, I'll try and remember. Funny, this is it. Under the circumstances, I suppose it's the only way to choose. I'm sorry. Don't know if you're sorry. I'm rather nice. This is actually companionship. It's not a nasty one. Yeah. Nasty. A bit patronizing. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, I know. You were defending your honor. You sure you've got the right word? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, in an inverted sort of way. You could look smug in the morning. Well, not particularly. Well, we have slept together before. Yeah, except the penny doesn't know it was 38 years ago. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. No, it doesn't. There we go. I love you too, baby. I love seeing you do little thing by yourself. <laughs> oh, we're well, nice independent over there. <laughs> Ooh, these are pretty. Ooh, these are very pretty.
can get a word in edgeways? What about Lionel? What about Lionel? What do you say, what about Lionel? Like that? Like what? Well, I said, was, what about Lionel? No, you didn't. You said, what about Lionel? Well, shouldn't you be at the office? Well, I've got a meeting at 10 o'clock. There didn't seem much point in going in the office first. When I started that agency, I used to be at my desk at 8 o'clock in the morning. I assume on those dark winter mornings you used to work by gaslight. Oh, a candlelight, actually. One candle only, of course. <laughs> so, what about Lionel? Oh, not again. What about Lionel? Well, did he have a nice weekend? That's all I'm asking. Oh, then he didn't. Well, he did, actually. Oh. I was expecting you back last night. Yes, well, we were having such a nice time, we decided to stay over Sunday as well. I see. So we did. A funny sort of place to have a nice time, isn't it? On pennies. A very funny place. Where's your meeting? It's Troy Square. Should you be on your way? Yes, I suppose I should. Glad you had a nice time. Oh, well, I'm glad. You're glad I had a nice time. <laughs> I'll see you later. Downright dull, actually. Any checks? Some. Oh, no, it's not all that dull. Nice weekend? Yes, thank you. I'm glad. Oh. No, I mean, I'm really glad. I like Lionel. You've been talking to Judith, haven't you? Yes. Why, well, I phoned her on Saturday and she said that you and Lionel had gone away for the weekend. Oh, I see. Well, that's what I meant. Well, for your information, we did not go away for the weekend. You mean Judith made it up? No, of course not. You're not making a lot of sense. I'm making perfect sense. Lionel and I were invited by my sister-in-law and her husband to spend a few days. We did not go away. <laughs> <laughs> don't play the innocent with me, Sam. I don't know why you're so touchy on the subject. Because my private life is my business. Okay, fair enough. I'm glad. Now what do you know about? Well, after all these years, you've got the private life. So good. <laughs> I suppose we should be flattered. Why? Being the objects of youthful curiosity at our time. Well, I'm not flattered. I'm fed up with it. I don't like the art of life. Well, we could always follow Alistair's advice. If pressed on personal matters, one just survives the discourse. Who's the kleptomania? You're treating one. Well, as far as Penn is concerned, you're a psychiatrist, remember? So I am. I still don't know why you said that. Well, because you didn't want to talk about the book. I knew that. I knew the way you said I was a psychiatrist. Well, when I've got some time, I'll go and see a psychiatrist in the house. <laughs> well, right, see you for lunch. Yeah, right. So, um, I'd, I'd like to have a chat about something, actually. Well, what about? Thank you. 
It's just like a line. I'm not into diluted line. I'll tell you something else I'm not into. The soup. Why not? You look the biz. I don't like the Martin Custard plan. Did you sing a look that way just again? She couldn't believe her eyes. It was a narration thing. And she had her four eyes like a screw loose. You don't seriously think this is going to help sell a book, do you? You'd be surprised what can help sell a book. I wouldn't, actually. Not since knowing you. I'll take that as a compliment. Put your money. Do you know what that suit says? Yes, take note. <laughs> Wrong. It says, hold up. Coffee planters can be cool food. Is this true? Hey, hey, is it? Right! Speaking of which... How shall I put this? Second thoughts, hold it for tonight. What am I doing tonight with the podcast? <coughs> you, me, Jean, Judy. A little huddle before we go over the top of the book. You've been going over the top of the book since you decided to publish it. <laughs> We're using over the top in a different sense then. You and Jean still are on the show. Yes, I've forgotten, I'm sorry. You're seeing quite a lot of Judy, aren't you? We, uh, hang out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. She was looking at you again. She probably couldn't believe what she saw the first time. <laughs> oh, no, we don't want to do that. Well, pop round to the house, and I'll let you on it. Yes, in about, what, 20 minutes? Yes, fine. What? Right. Penny, no, she hasn't thrown back yet. Penny, bye. Ma'am, do you remember we're having dinner with Alice there tonight? How could I forget it? You know, deep down, he's very sweet. I'm sure he is. Holy shit. Especially she was intelligible, that's what you mean. This girl, Gail O'Grady, from this show? Yeah. That face, Donna? She's been married six times. Good grief. Her longest marriage is only four years. <laughs> the other five were one or two years. What's the pizza place we're going to? Grimaldi's. Grimaldi's. This was Gail O'Grady's first, uh, first major role. You know I have spring break spring break plans for us. You know that? How, how nice did you tell me just now? Well, I'm going to write them out, but the plans consist of. Uh, let me. Where's my remote? I can't control your electronics. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I was thinking we have. Um, nope. Sorry. Breakfast. I was too early. Was Our early. breakfast at uh, Hacienda Vieja. You want to go to the ponies? Either one. It's fine with I, you know, I, I, Okay, yeah, either one, to be honest. And then one day, you got to take me to S&J's. That's our tradition. Every time I have a break, you take me to S&J's. That's uh, done. Okay. Done. And I would love to go to Rockport and just look at the Fulton Mansion. I know you're not going to want to walk around, so you can yeah. just, I mean, but it's like a situation where, um, I don't know. I just want to take pictures. And if you, if you would just drive me there for the drive, because yeah. I know you're not, you're, you're disabled. Yeah. With acid. <laughs> With acid, my baby. Um, 
But I won't push you to do any more than you can. But yeah. I would like to go to the full tank. I know I like to walk on that dock and everything, that pier, but... Well, I just want to go to the mansion. Yeah. I want to look at the mansion if you don't mind. Yeah. And then, um, I got to get me some seafood. And, um, I don't know if you feel like taking me to Padre Island just for the drive. We'll pack sandwiches. It'll be nice to pack sandwiches. Yeah. Ooh, we'll pack, like, hoagies. Like How many days do you have off? The whole week. I want to go look at Harbor House. Yes, we'll go look at apartments. Definitely. I just want to look at two places, but really only one. Okay. I, my mind's kind of set on Harbor House. I know, me too. And I kind of want to talk to them. and Like, them. what What can, can we get on a waiting list? For a uh, first floor, I don't want upstairs, with washer and dryer, yeah. with the renovated kitchen. We'll talk to them. And if it's a two-bedroom, two-bath, or a one-bedroom, two-bath... Well, I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll have them... We'll see what, what, they, what they have. Right. No, I'm I'm all for that. Hey, Google. Turn off stereo fan. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Sure. So, Turning the stereo fan off. That's all the activities I can handle. Uh, I can't handle activities either. Yeah. I love but you. But taking out to eat is like my favorite thing. And I know you have... I love drives. Rock, Rockport. You, yes, I love Rockport. That's my thing. Because last time we went with Katie... Uh, wasn't she pregnant? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I love you. Her little boy's growing, honey. He's growing. And I think she's going to be just fine. I hope so. She is. To be I know. I I can't imagine. No, we can't imagine it. We're not gonna imagine it. We're just gonna focus on the positive. She is healthy, and she lost the babies because of COVID, and because it was it was twins, identical twins. They shared a sack. It was high risk all around. This is just a singleton, and she's healthy. Yeah. I'm going to consult our bank account because I really do want to bring home a pizza. Okay, do it. You know I'm going to want the Caprese salad, so you better consult our bank account. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if not, I'm going to consult one of your gift cards. So <laughs> that's, that's fine. Okay, on to my show. Are you done talking my, to me? Yes, I'm done talking to you. I'm done with you. Okay. Misunderstand. Uh, look, I don't want to know. Perhaps I put it badly. What did you put badly? Well, I told her that I could possibly get a little lecture job on a cruise ship and she could come along free if she wanted to. <laughs> I think I'll go. 400. 
Who is that? Chester? Mittens. Oh, she's so silly with you. Judy, 
those things, Sam. Look, what we don't want to suggest is that my life in Kenya is simply the story of someone who planted coffee. But it is. We know that name. But what we want to hint is that that guy who planted coffee didn't just plant coffee. We're back to the AA thing, aren't we? Right. Look, Alistair, if you want a position, and he does sell it. What does it have to do with the now? Because, Lionel, if we're to believe the then, we have to take the now and believe that the now is still far away then. Judy, <laughs> you've got to come across as a bit of an old dog, Lionel. Leave in the imagination. Which is where you come in, Judy. What do you want me to do? Follow him around saying he's an old dog, he's an old dog. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, G. As you know, I think you're one hell of a lady. Mama, you're so demanding, Mama. I don't want to I want both hands all day. Oh, I see. Alistair. But I'm not talking people. I'm talking business. Husband, I know the difference. I don't know what anyone's talking about. You've followed around by a lady of mature years who do nothing for the old dog in it. I see. No offense, G. I business. In that case, I got business. <laughs> If it hadn't been for her, I'd probably have packed her by the thing in weeks ago. But she's put up with my moaning. She's, she's Here, baby. Up her time to Can you please put this in the trash? Oh, wait. Where is the trash? Hold on. She's got mittens. Oh, it's over there, honey. Never mind. I'll put it up. She's on mitten duty. If Jean has the wheel or the stamina all the time to help me try and sell this damn book, then all I would feel is gratitude. You'd better get used to it. Oh, and I'll feel something else as well. I'm ready to eat. Mittens, you're so silly, Mama. So I'll show you my little workstation here. This is a um, a sofa, a sofa or a bed desk. It's on the wheels, and I got it on Amazon. It was probably about $115, and um, it's been in the den because that's where, when the kids lived here, I, that's where I would go and hang out with Sam and she would do her homework or watch her she and I would watch movies together and I would uh work on this like if I wanted to do lesson plans or anything oh god I gotta do lesson plans um but I asked Bear to move it up here this is going with us to the apartment um it just makes sense for us for me I love doing my Bible study quiet. My Bible study makeup, I got to go in my office, you know. But when I work on my planner, I love this setting where I want to be next to him. I want to put on my favorite relaxing show. Right now, I'm watching As Time Goes By with Judy Dench. And what's his name, baby? What's his name? I always forget his name. I forget his name too, but he's like a famous British actor over there in the UK. And he's in some American shows. I think he was on one of the Star Wars movies. Come to camera and show it. Yeah. So, I have no idea what I did. I just changed all the lights. <laughs> so, um... That's how I like to create. I just sometimes I I was you know work on the TV tray or just on my lap, and I told Bear you know I I want to post more of my journaling, but I'm not about aesthetics. You know I mean I, I like my aesthetics, but I'm about comfort and I think sometimes let me turn this down. Sometimes people don't journal. And do planning because they think they have to do it the way they see it on YouTube. You know, they have to have the candle and they have to have the drink and they have to, you know, you don't have to be like that. And they need to be dressed aesthetically and they need to have their nails done. No, 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 no. You plan and journal around your life and your taste and how you want things done. And when I journal, you know, and when I plan... It makes no sense to anybody but me, and that's the way it should be. Like I told you, I use blank papers. I, It has changed the way I journal and plan using blank papers. Um, journaling is about 
artistic expression for me. So I just made a fairy page. <laughs> And that was just me getting ready for spring. And so I did a whole page of fairies. That's what I worked on today. It helps me relax. It helps me get rid of my Sunday my Sunday nerves, you know, because teacher gets nerves. And so I'm just like doodling and drawing and playing with my stickers and watching my favorite show. Um, it's just a sweet, simple little love story of a couple that met... Um, in their older years, was on for 10 years, and it's what, um, you know, catapulted Judy Dench, uh, cause she was doing this TV, Jeffrey Palmer, his name is Jeffrey Palmer, and she was doing this TV show, and then later on, she did, um, she played Queen Elizabeth in Shakespeare in Love, and some other movies, and then she just went into movies, you know, then she did the James Bond movies, and what have you. But um, she put in a good 10 years into the series and it's a it's beautiful. It's a beautiful series. It's funny. It's it's just, you know, it's not slapstick. It's, you know, anyway, um, even Bear likes it. It's just a very comfort show for me. Um, and I also wanted an excuse to play with my new 100 dual tip brush pens. Woohoo! And these fairy, these fairy packets, you know, it's full of all these pa fairies and flowers and butterflies. And, um, I just got to play with them. Um, I also jotted down the menu for the week, which is like a no brainer. I did a video on TikTok about why I'm not cooking because I'm down to one stove and it's become, um, upsetting. It puts me in a bad mood. Cooking is, a, was, has always been a stress reliever. And even Bear, when he first met me, could understand how I could come from work and school and still cook. Because that's how I relieve stress. And, um, and now it's it's just cause, causes me resentment and bitterness and anger. And I snap at Bear because he's like, well, what's wrong? I'm like, don't just don't talk to me right now. Because I was in the kitchen. And I'm disappointed in my kitchen. And... And I'm angry that I, I don't have anything, you know. And a lot of us Americans are going through that, you know. Uh, mine is that I can't afford new appliances. That's a that's a common thing going around in America. Some people live, it's it's where they actually live. They live in hotels, they're, they're students, they're truckers, what have you. Um, so I'm, a little, I'm, I'm upset. And so I'm doing... Uh, I'm trying to find the healthiest pre-made meals I can find. Stouffer's does have a lot of salt, but there are other dishes that we... We live in Corpus Christi, so we have an HEB that does good pre-made meals. I plan on buying some. I haven't yet. Um, right now, I think on my grocery list, I put in some Lean Cuisines because there's an award, reward system on Lean Cuisine. Um, you just sign in. At, I'm not I'm not sponsoring them or anything. I just saw this on Instagram where you can um, I think I, I, I'm not quite sure. Let me let me do that first. I just saved it in my um, one of my folders on Instagram, but apparently it's in a reward system. So you, you know, document what you're buying and then you get coupons back and so, and Lean Cuisine is, you know, pretty good. I like, I love the Healthy Choice Steamer Bowls. One, because apparently they're healthy. Two, they're a little low in sodium. And three, they, they actually give me a lot of food. There's three dishes that I've eaten and I actually felt like I wasn't starving. And I'm like, okay, this is good because, you know, I want to be full for lunch. That's just the way I want. Um, and I don't want to be stuffed, but I don't want to be like still hungry. Um, so Lean Cuisine, Healthy Choice Steamer Bowls, definitely Stouffer's. And yes, I have some banquet meals in there. We like the banquet pot pies. I love, um, I got some Hot Pockets in the freezer right now. Um, we're picking up our HEB order in a little bit. I would put in a rotisserie chicken and, um... What's his name? Something Evans. What's his name, baby? Bill Evans? Who who makes the mashed potatoes that I bought? Bob yeah, Evans. Bill Evans? No, Bob. 
She is so precious. Is she your air biscuit you make? Oh my gosh, she's y'all gotta see the way she's with her daddy. Y'all gotta see this. Is she looking at the camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so precious. Oh my God, she's precious. She's her little air biscuits. She loves her daddy. And, um, so anyway, um, yeah, what else? Sandwiches, we'll do sandwiches. You know, I don't even want to make ramen. I don't even want to make scrambled eggs in my kitchen. I'm that upset with the fact that everything is just falling apart. And, um, it's time, it's time to go. So, anyway, this is my little setup. And I'll show you what my little desk looks like. So, this is my setup. I really can't see. I just put my glasses on. Hold on. Oh, okay. And... That's my show. Bears watching Hill Street Blues. No, NYPD Blues. Oh, NYPD Blues. Okay, y'all got to see the baby. You got to see this baby. Why are you silly with daddy? Why are you silly with daddy? If she hears mommy, she loves me. Look at those. Look at her little feet. You're just silly with daddy. Yes, you are. Oh, oh you're going to come to mama. You're going to come to mama. Oh. No, stay with daddy, stay with daddy. Oh, she's so precious.